wow, that gets way gnarlier than I thought. Yeah. I only almost died a couple times. Oh my gosh, that holds up so well. It's like it's got a power band on this thing. All right, guys, if anybody tells you that a 250cc dual sport is enough, they're lying. Sorry to tell you, they're lying. And that is why today we've got the big bore 300cc dual sports out here today. One from Big Red and the other KLX from Team Green. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're out here to shake these bikes down. We don't want to bore you with all the specs. We know that there's a ton of content out there already on these bikes. Chances are you probably know everything about these bikes, but we wanted to bring them out here. Uh, see and what they're made of. See what they're made of. Find the limits. That's what this video is all about. We're going to bring you guys along for the ride and hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you have a little fun with us. Now, we recognize that we're not the intended consumer for these bikes, but we understand good value when we see it. And both these bikes are bringing a lot of value at a low price point. They're entry level bikes that some, anyone can take them out and have a ton of fun on. So that's what we're here to do. First things first, let's uh, let's find some dirt. Big like hits it. for this guy. Let's go. First things first, which we already said, we need to find some dirt. I want to test suspension and see really how terrible that Honda is. And we're going to find some unique ways to do that. I think uh, handling and single track rideability on both these bikes, I'm curious to know how they are. What I would normally enjoy riding on like just a, your average dirt bike, I want to see how this will do. Yeah. 300 pounds is a little heavier than what we're normally on but hey without luggage this is a nice compromise between ad our adventure rides and normal dirt bike riding okay we're gonna test out some single track action here we found a little cool little loop i'm excited or am i let's have some fun Oh yeah, there's the bottom. A little rocky. A little loose. Definitely tell they have a little more than a 250. Pull out of corners, carry a gear a little better. Oh, nice. Honestly, that was about as expected. Was it? I'm curious yeah. to see the difference though. Let's swap. Oh, you got the ABS turned off? Yeah. But actually, ABS really isn't that big a deal for riders like us. We're usually as much dirt as we can get. But it's nice it's got an off-road mode so you can turn it off when you're in the dirt. Wow, the clutch pull is so light. That's interesting. Super light. I mean, there, it doesn't feel like it's connected to anything. It springs back though, so. I couldn't tell if this was running or not when I just stepped up to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with the quiet bike. All right, do you want to go first? Do you want sure. me to? Okay, you ate dust last time, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, clutch is definitely different. Oh, <laughs> these foot pegs are tiny, man. <laughs> they are. Like you're standing on sticks. Oh, sick. This mirror is already spinning. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Honestly, I like the motor already a little more on this. You it's digging smooth. the motor more? Yeah, it's super, super smooth. That's interesting because... 
I hopped on this and immediately thought I had more pep. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe it's just, yeah, it feels more responsive. That's interesting. I'm gonna probably take my mirror off, I guess. Put it in the old tank bag. almost died a couple times. <laughs> that thing looks sweet from third person. It's getting a lot of action in the suspension, that is for sure. I believe you, that's the first thing I said. I, these forks are holding up so much better. Dude, way better. All the way around, shock and forks, but yeah, this front end is staying up. Yep, I agree. This thing is a little scary. And as I suspected, I spent a lot of time on the 250 rally that we had. Mm -hmm. and knew how terrible the suspension was on that. Uh, we actually did a fork upgrade. Uh, we added a spring uh, up front and it helped the front end a lot, but the shock is just terrible. And on this, it's honestly scary. Like, <laughs> I agree. I, I don't like how soft it is. It's, it's just divey and unpredictable and wallowy and, and not safe and this kind of stuff. I had no comparison at first with that, so it was just wrong with your brung, but as soon as I hopped on this, yeah, no, I can. It's a it's a better ride when you're pushing it on this, that's for sure. Yep. But man, these foot pegs, I didn't, <laughs> my, I didn't get my boots in any awkward spots anywhere on there, but I got my foot stuck twice on this. I feel like I'm on a balance beam the entire time with these foot pegs, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely is. They're tiny. That w that would honestly on that bike, one of my first upgrades would be foot pegs. I I would agree with that. But other than that, man, I was I was pleasantly surprised. The bars are higher on that one too. Yeah. Are you telling that? Yep. This feels like really small for me, and so I can't imagine what you're feeling on it. Yeah, I feel like I'll, I'm getting the feeling on both of them. They they want me to sit down. Um, it, it's just comfy there, but this one is a little better when I'm standing. Okay, well, on to the next. On to the next. I know where a sweet jump is for big hits if you want to go check that out. I like jumps. That's what these are made for. Let's do it. All right, let's see some testing on that suspension, Kobe. I can do that. I can do that going down this downhill even. I don't have to jump it. Oh. There goes some bars, man. Oh! <laughs> if you thought that the, the ergos were weird before, check it out now, dude. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I knew they were loose, dude. Nothing. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, that's right Sweet. where they were. Well, tested. Let me have a go. More speed. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that holds up so well. It's like it's got a power band on this thing. Like you have to wait a second. Yeah, I agree. This is more immediate. It's, it's more linear. See, nice. I even landed front end heavy there and it was just fine. Yeah. Dude, Kobe, let's talk about handling and weight. So we actually weighed these bikes back at the warehouse mm -hmm. and they had about a 10 pound difference between them. Are you feeling that? The actual weight difference, I don't think that I'm feeling. Um, as we were stopping, just talking a little bit, we were mentioning, obviously we've talked about suspension repeatedly, but yeah, I think if there is any weight difference, it's just being masked by the better suspension on this Cowie. And that's just, that's the bigger factor when it comes to handling between the two, as far as a different feeling. But 
the actual weight itself, no, I couldn't tell you that that's, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, I mean, they both feel kind of exactly like I thought they would. I, like we were saying, I, we both like the Cowie better. It feels lighter. Um, it is 10 pounds lighter, but I don't know. The, like we said, the Honda suspension is probably making it feel heavier and bulkier and it's just wallowy like, bigger I yeah made, i made this and i have this illusion of that i have luggage on the back of the honda when i'm riding around just because it feels like something else is weighing down the shock besides me while yeah. i'm riding yeah which isn't a great feeling i mean at the at the start of a ride you expect to feel that but at the end of the ride you're used to all that way, but yeah, this this just feels that way without any luggage on it. And I mean, it would come down to what you're you're trying to ride. Like, obviously, we're we're goofing off, doing a little bit different stuff, really pushing pushing the suspension on these things. But if you were just buying this as a commuter, like on the asphalt or just really mild roads, that super soft suspension is going to be actually really comfortable. Always love these high-speed single-track race lines right next to barbed wire fence. It makes you comfortable. There's no better feeling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little sandy. Wow, that gets way gnarlier than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Probably gonna wish I had a skid plate on this thing. No kidding. It's like, I don't know if I'm in second or third, but this thing just needs a little more oomph to carry the gear. Uh, in third? I think it's like I'll shift third. down and it's upsetting the bike yep. too much. And then when I shift up, it won't carry the gear. I'm feeling that in both these bikes. Yeah. Just small displacement problems. Yep. This is where that super soft suspension comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, you're mobbing. It's not deflecting on anything. Hit some corners up here. <laughs> You're crazy. The Honda <laughs> wouldn't like that. No. <laughs> You'll take your leg off on these if you're not careful. I'm a little too tall for corners <laughs> on this thing. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, ripping. Dab City. Ah, oh my gosh. This clutch's engagement is terrible. <laughs> It's so abrupt. I'm milking it. I love how you can sit down coming out of these braking bump corners and acceleration bumps. <laughs> no problem. Just let me know anytime you're ready to switch. I'm curious actually, so whatever. Give myself a little bit of a gap for the dust. It's gonna take a couple laps to get used to this thing. Dude, that Honda feels so this much faster. This is so much peppier. I <laughs> yes, very much. <laughs> The clutch sucks. <laughs> oh man. This Neuter thing wants ship. to lay over though, man. <laughs> Have fun with that clutch. 
dude. Yeah, I lack a front brake. <laughs> there's no front brake. I feel like the clutch is gone. <laughs> First layover. It was inevitable. Oh. Oh, you couldn't you couldn't have done it on the one without mirrors? I know. I tried not to. So that's the lighter bike. How did it feel picking it up? <laughs> not terrible, actually. Not great, but not terrible. Well, I think just this side is bent back. Oh, like it just Oh, I think I watched you just flex it back. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> so much flex in there. That's crazy. Well, I just bent the bars on the KLX. One of us was gonna do it. Oh. Oh, how would it be to jump into a wash <laughs> like that? Pretty awesome, man. You know, another thing that really stood out, because we were riding these bikes hard in that turn track and then swapped, um, I was noticing the power immediately on this Honda. I think you did too. You mentioned a little bit of it. This this thing has more grunt for sure, like without yep. a doubt. Yep. Yeah, it pulled you out of those corners so much better. Absolutely. Which was important for having fun. But I then agree. you don't have the brakes to to keep you, keep you safe. <laughs> to so. keep you safe. <laughs> yeah. You know, we need to just combine these bikes together. There's just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or have yeah. some budget for aftermarket parts. Yep. Hill climb? Dude. I don't know that we're getting up any of that. <laughs> well, maybe. Think you can make it up this straight up and down spot? Nice work. Impressive. <laughs> I don't know if I got it. You, keep it you dug up some metal. Oh shoot, I did. Heck yeah. Dude, that's cool. Nice. Oh, we got a line up it. Very cool. <laughs> that didn't go as well as I thought it would. See if the Honda will do it. Yeah, oh, that's what screwed me up right there, dude. If I move this little thing, you got it. This little thing right there, dude. Fence post. Perfect. There we go. Appreciate it. Honda's ready. <laughs> Let's go! Heck yeah, that's very nice. Back it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, redemption! What I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Wow, we just get distracted. We're having fun. That's what this is all about. That's what I'm saying. Back to slab, I guess. Yep. Okay, let's have a little roll on. I'm down. Let's Looking. get on the road here. You okay with that? Yes, sir. How fast are you trying to go? I mean, like, 25. from here? One, two, three, go. <laughs> They're like dead even.
Yeah, mine said 110 for just a second there. I don't know what's going on with my speedo. Wow, that was closer than I thought, man. All right, guys, we made our way up into Eureka. This is a cool old mining town. It's got a lot of history, and it's a great place to end this video. We just finished our ride. Today's been super fun. We've both enjoyed both these bikes, uh, but if it wasn't obvious already, I feel like we both already have a clear winner, that being the Cali. But Team Green, we still have some things to say about the Honda. I think Wes and I both agreed about on just about every category. Uh, so what was the first thing, the number one beef? The biggest beef was front brake. Just kidding. Suspension. Suspension. Oh my gosh. Honda. You guys already know that. And we came into this versus expecting that, but man, it was worse than I expected. I'm just disappointed for a couple reasons, okay? They've had the 250L and the 250L rally for a while now. And honestly, the suspension was my biggest complaint with both of those bikes. Why didn't you upgrade it, Honda? When you upgrade this when you upgrade the looks the engine and everything else so yeah we railed on the suspension all day there we also both noticed that front brake it's pretty weak um i didn't actually notice it too much until we did some aggressive braking but yeah the cowie it blows it out of the water um yeah. from there also the clutch i mean i felt like that thing was toasted before we even started riding i know the clutch pull is so light which just makes you like, yeah, that's a nice feature and all if you're riding all day, but honestly, it makes the clutch feel super weak and, and fragile because it just feels like it's gonna toast any second. But I do gotta give credit to Honda with their engine. That was a big difference. It's got way more grunt, especially down low. I really enjoyed that about that bike. Yeah, it carries gears, especially when you're in tighter stuff. It carries the gear so much better than the KLX and then it just feels linear overall. Like it just, there, the hot or the Cowie almost feels like it has a power band. Yeah. Um, a sweet spot of the power. The Honda is just good all the way through. So, way snappier, way more responsive. Yeah, the power band analogy. That's, that's seriously how it feels on the Cowie. And then the other thing with the Honda is obviously looks. I, I don't want to talk too much about that, but man, it's from the century. You can tell. It looks so good. It looks so good. The, cow, the Cowie fits the uh, old mining town we're in, so <laughs> maybe we'll start talking about it. It is both our favorite bike out of the two, and for good reason. You can really tell where Kawasaki chose to put their budget. It's just suspension and just overall. It inspires confidence when you're riding off-road. It doesn't become super obvious until you get it off-road, but once you do, the bikes are just polar opposites. So yeah, overall brakes, suspension, the Everything motor we said feels about the red. solid. <laughs> yeah. All our complaints about Team Red. Cowie uh, fixed them. Cowie's got them dialed. <laughs> Cowie put their budget towards that. So yeah, but honestly, either of these bikes were super fun. We both had a good time all day. And for how much you're spending on either of these bikes, you can't go wrong. With the Honda, if either of me and Kobe bought the bike, we'd have to put at least a thousand dollars into suspension like we talked about the brakes so to get it to where either me and him would be really happy with it you'd have to put some money into it the kawasaki right off the showroom floor is just fun we can go out and have a good time and really ride it like we want to ride it so my next point would be is where do i want to ride these things i would want to go adventure spend some overnight do some overnighters Put some luggage on these things there's no way you could throw luggage on the honda and ride comfortably i feel like the Cowie could handle pannier racks and pannier bags just fine. Um, and there's some other accessories that it's going to add a lot more weight too, like a top rack. We rode top racks today. We had a little bit of luggage with our tank bags. What else did we have? We throw on accessory dash panels. So with your power socket, your switches up front, and we also had tires and rim locks. Anyways, guys, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. We do have plans to do some more advanced builds. Who knows, maybe with thousands of dollars worth of upgrades, the Honda can <laughs> compete with the Cowie. But for now, we're both taking the Cowie home. If you own either one of these bikes, please let us know what you've done to make it more comfortable. Also check out our website. We have tons of accessories for these things. Subscribe to our channel, like I mentioned, for more fun content like today. And yeah, we'll catch you next time. See you guys. Thank you.